All right. So here's some basic networking uh, um, enumeration, scanning activities. The first one is Nmap. Nmap is an essential tool. I use it all the time. Everybody uses it all the time once you learn about it. Every time you have some kind of network connection and you have some kind of question about the server, this is what hackers use to uh, find their um, to find their server. Now, uh, now my original, the early part of this, I have you scan a Windows machine to find connect to the Windows file sharing, and you can do that if you have a Windows machine handy. But if you don't, you can just skip down to the end where you're scanning one of my public servers. So skip the first flag, which requires you to have a Windows machine, unless you do have a Windows machine handy. And now, um, let's try this one. So let's and you can install Nmap on any computer. There's a, you can put it on Windows. You can put it on the Mac. You can put it on Linux. I've got it on my Mac. So if I run a terminal, I can run it right from here. All right, here it comes. All right. So uh, there are some useful switches for Nmap. The simplest one, you do Nmap, and then you could scan like samsclass.info. If you don't give it anything but the name of a server to scan, it will send a bunch of packets to that server and wait for the replies and then give you a profile of what services are running on that server. It will, by default, first send a series of 10 requests to see if the server is up, and then it will scan the most common 1,000 ports, which doesn't take too long, but as you'll see, might take 30 seconds or a minute. And then it will give you a report of what's running on that server. This is usually the first step when hacking into any server. You see what services it offers, and then you decide whether any of those are interesting to you, and if you can find any vulnerabilities in any of those, and then you try to inject. You see my server has got four things open, port 80, 443, 8080, and 8443. So that's HTTP and HTTPS, and a couple other versions of HTTP and HTTPS. So that's what's on the server. All right, and now um, if you want to learn more about the server, there's some useful commands here. My dash A will get you a lot more information about the server. Dash P will scan specific ports. So if I wanted to, I could scan just one port, like dash P80, and nothing else. And that makes it faster, and it just checks port 80. Uh, SU will scan UDP ports, which you usually don't bother with, but it is an option. Normally, all you care about is TCP. V will find the version numbers of services. So let's try that. Let's do minus V. S V. All right. And what that will do is get the banner from the server to see what version it claims to be. And you see it tells it is Cloudflare HTTP proxy, which is true. My main server is hidden behind Cloudflare. Uh, which protects it. But then you can use this will scan all 65,000 ports, which can take a long time, like 10 or 20 minutes. This will scan really rapidly. So you can combine these two together. You can scan all 65,000 ports in a smaller amount of time, like three or five minutes. And here's one another one that will grab banners. So these are various options. And now there's just a few things to scan. So uh, you can find on one of my servers, get the banners and find this banner. And here's another one where you find another banner. So there's a couple of things to find there to give you a little bit of practice with Nmap. So that's something you might want to try. And then there's Wireshark, which I think you've already done. Wireshark-like commands. This might even be a duplicate of one you've done. Yeah, you've done this one before in a previous lab. This is the one that ends up with the uh, APT capture where there's some encrypted traffic. And I'll just mention a third one. If you have Python, you can use Scapy to craft packets. Instead of using an automated tool like Nmap, you can craft the, your own packets with Scapy, which you can run in Python. I recommend running it on Linux. Supposedly, you can run it on the Mac or on Windows, but it doesn't seem to work very well for me. I would use Linux. You can create packets. It knows all the protocols. So you can create IP packets, and you can create ICMP packets, and you can then send them. Those are pings and you can send any kind of packet you want. And there's a process of listening on my servers, waiting for special kinds of packets to see things. 
you can do DNS requests with Scapy. And uh, I think that's all. I have various versions of DNS requests here. So you might play with that if you want to form packet crafting where you generate your own traffic. So those are the network projects, and you might want to try them. Stop this 